All right, Dee, as we wrap up uh, Black History Month, can you talk a little bit about what Black History Month means to you? Well, you know, obviously uh, you can never forget how far we've come and, and the things that we have to do on the horizon, but all of that is inextricably tied to a number of important leaders that we had come before us. Black History Month for me, um, you know, immediate thoughts turn to you know, my father, the America that he grew up in, growing up in the Jim Crow South, uh, getting an opportunity to go uh, join the Marine Corps, my mother uh, growing up in the Jim Crow South in an era that, that frankly neither me nor my kids could ever imagine. But also recognizing that as time goes forward, uh, so does progress. Uh, but we are only able to get there because we remain committed to civil rights, we remain committed to individual freedoms, and we remain committed to an America that every day could be better. So when I think of Black History Month, my thoughts from uh, my parents and the world that they grew up with turn to obviously leaders like Dr. Martin Luther King, Medgar Evers, uh, A. Philip Randolph, Diana Nash, um, uh, all people who took upon themselves at an extremely young age the mantle of moving people forward and moving people forward in a way where they probably knew that what they started they would never live to see finish. Can you talk about the amount of growth in this country over the last 40 years or so since the civil rights movement? Well you think of, of things like uh, uh, PBS had a documentary just the other day on uh, the Lovings, the interracial couple in Virginia uh, whose case was carried all the way to the United States Supreme Court that struck down state laws barring interracial marriage. You, you think about uh, how far we've come from days where a man like Medgar Evers was gunned down for standing up for civil rights. At the same time, you know that all of those people made commitments and sacrifices. Leaders take upon themselves not only the, 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 the point position of trying to push an agenda or the thought position of trying to push an agenda, they also take upon themselves a tremendous amount of personal risk, personal sacrifice for them and their families. And, and that's the only reason uh, that, that we have been able to move as far as we've come. Does it mean that our fights are over? Absolutely not. But I think at their core, the progress that we have made over the last few years is deeply rooted in, in a belief of hope that, um, that tomorrow can be a better day, that, that we can uh, push agendas, we can make ordinary Americans' lives better tomorrow than it was the day before. But that doesn't come without a, a certain amount of sacrifice, vision, leadership, and most of all, the belief among a group of people that we can be better.